The American oligarchs out there, they are coming for us. They are trying to strip me of my constitutional power as your commander in chief. We've been entwined, you and I, for decades now. We deserve to go our separate ways. You said it yourself, she's as guilty as he is. I'm saying maybe more. I'm not going to be told what to do anymore, Doug. Not by you or any man ever again. Who do you fear most? Her. Woo! Extreme divisiveness, vicious battles across the aisle, an investigation into the president, and a rise of women like never before. The hit series House of Cards has always mirrored the inner workings of an actual White House, but with all the news unraveling surrounding the current administration, like a fired attorney general, and the ongoing investigation into our president, Trump, have we gotten to a place that even the producers of the hit Netflix drama couldn't script? I spoke to none other then Doug Stamper himself, actor Michael Kelly, about the parallels between the make-believe world we see in House of Cards and the world as we know it today. All right, Michael, welcome. Walk us through this. You are on a fictional show. <laughs> yeah. But if you actually sat down for a script read, for a table read, with a narrative that we are seeing in real life, would you believe it? No, I think, <laughs> you know, I think for, the, for the first time, uh, maybe we've been outdone. Uh, by the current administration in, in the world of crazy, you know, uh, you, you can't imagine some of the things that are happening. But it's it's funny because it's like on our show, you know, there are no real life consequences. It's fun, it's entertaining, and you watch it, and the president does something insane, and it's there's it's no one gets hurt in real life, you know. Whereas that's that's the problem with the parallel on our show and the current administration, in my opinion. I know uh, it's fair to say you don't believe that the president has unified the country, but are you able to separate things? Do you think there are some situations that have been a positive? Um, yeah, they're hard to find. Um, you know, I, I do believe that we, as a country, we need to come together on the op opioid issue. So the, he, he's trying to do something with that. I can get behind him on some things. Um, I will be going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner again for the first time this year since he took office. Uh, I think it's important for a lot of us to go back and stand up for our friends in the press, you know, and say that we have your back. That's what that night's about. It's not about the president. So, um, yeah, I think there are ways we can come together. There are things we can do, and, and that's one of them. I'm going to make a step forward this year and do that. It is fair to say, though, that since President Trump won, people across the country are engaged. Wherever yeah. you go, people certainly want to talk politics. Yeah, which is great, and and that's what I encourage. Like, you know, I, I come from the South. I, I, I spent a lot of time, you know, growing up in Georgia. I have a lot of friends on the other side of the aisle. And the most encouraging thing you can do is have conversation. Just talk to each other about the issues. And you can agree to disagree, but make sure that both sides are informed, you know? All right, this season of House is centered around women's empowerment. Yes. And we know that women were just elected in record numbers yeah. in real life this week. Talk about the rise of women and the role it's played in the show. Yes, you have Claire as the president. Uh, you've got an all-female cabinet. But that wasn't really a choice. That was a... a a whole lot of issues, whether it was Kevin Spacey or the right. Me Too movement. And now we've got all these women who have just won. What does yeah. all this mean? Well, I think, first of all, it's the greatest parallel from our show to, to real life politics. Um, I think, you know, I've said it before publicly, I think we'd be in a lot better place with women running just about everything. They're a little, they take their time with things before they jump to a decision. Um, I don't think it's any coincidence that, that we have this happening in our country now. Uh, and, and I don't think that the parallel between our show and real life is any coincidence. You know, this is where we are going as a country, as a people. We are realizing that women are just, <laughs> they've got a good handle on things. I trust everything with my wife a lot better than I trust it with myself. Well, you know? there you go. All right, Veterans Day is also upon us. I know you're a huge supporter yes. of veterans. Why is it so important to you? I know how much you care about our military and our vets. I, you know, for me, I, you know, I did uh, the long road home. I also did uh, Generation Kill. I spent time with these people. I have great respect for them. These are people who you and I have the freedom to come here and say whatever we want about anything because these people are out there fighting for that freedom for us. And whether you agree with what our military is doing, once they've been assigned that mission, that's what they're doing, and you have to support them. And, 
you know, we have, here, here's another example, like the president could be doing something about uh, the, the insane suicide rate we have with our veterans. It's insanity that we can't come together and do better for our military when, when these people come home. Sure, we support them when they're there. What happens when they come home? That adjustment period, having talked to my friends in the military, it's the hardest thing. We need to do better as a country to help these people when they come home. That's, that's what I want to do. Michael, thank you so much. It's Michael Kelly, pleasure. you better check this season's House of Cards. <laughs> it's going to be hotter than ever. <laughs> the real Michael Kelly. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.